Iraqi Supreme Court today has ordered a halt on the preparations of the Kurdish referendum, which is scheduled for September 25th. Back in June of this year, the president of the Kurdish regional government had called for an independence referendum. While the referendum is not legally binding, a favorable vote can strengthen the case of the Kurdish government's president, Masood Barzai. He is uh, due to step down soon. But the move has been widely criticized by the Iraqi government, Turkey and the United States. The British Defense Secretary Michael Fallon today said he would try to persuade the Kurdish leaders to call off the controversial referendum. After a dispute struck down the first attempt to hold a vote in 2014, the Kurdish regional government now wants to hold a referendum on the 25th of September. The Kurdish region of northern Iraq has held a semi-autonomous status within Iraq since 1992. It's governed by the Kurdistan regional government. The region includes the provinces of Duhok, Erbil, Suleimania and Halabja. The population is uh, more than 5 million. The regional government gets its budget from the Iraqi government but has a parliamentary system of governance and its own armed forces. Joining me live on the broadcast for more perspective on that story is my colleague Vion's international correspondent Daniele Pagani. Uh, good afternoon Daniele. What exactly does this mean for uh, the Kurdish referendum movement now that the Iraqi government has tried to step in and prevent that taking place from on the September 25th? Well, this is yet another major blow. Uh, it seems that within the region, within the Middle East, uh, there are very few supporters for this referendum. Iran said it was very much worried. Uh, Turkey is very much worried. And obviously Baghdad, which formerly still is the capital city of a united Iraq because the northern part of Kurdistan is an autonomous region, not an independent region, which means that still it's subject to uh, the law currently ruling over Iraq. So now the Supreme Court of Iraq demanding to stop, to end any preparation of the referendum is a major blow. The parliament gave to the Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi all the authority to act against the referendum. We need to understand that uh, the army, the Iraqi army, has an enormous presence uh, just uh, very close to the Kurdish border in uh, uh, Al Gayara, which is roughly 40 kilometers from what the Kurds uh, um, imagine as their border. So it's a very, very heated situation, and uh, regard and considering what is happening, uh, it could change the entire geopolitics of the Middle East. Right. Uh, do you see a connection, Daniele, between uh, the fact that ISIS is on the back foot right now in uh, the region and uh, the referendum taking place, or at least the push for the referendum to take place? Are uh, the Kurdish uh, uh, people and the Kurdish government trying to seize on the opportunity, so to speak? Yes and no. No in the sense that uh, the idea, the dream of an independent Kurdistan lies uh, with the Kurdish population since uh, at least a century, I would say. They live uh, in four different countries uh, as a minority, often without any officially recognized right to existence. For instance, in Turkey, they cannot teach and sing in their very own language in the south and south and east provinces. Uh, uh, so, no, I mean, the necessity, the dream of an independent Kurdistan has been there since forever. But, obviously, the fact that Kurds are backed by the U.S. participating in the fight against the Islamic State in Syria. The fact that the Peshmerga, which is, as you correctly say, the armed force of the Iraqi Kurdistan, has been on the front line, on the very front line of the battle to retake Mosul. Yes, all these makes the moment very fruitful. So yes, to a certain extent, they are seizing a moment when they have victories to claim in their hands and they say, they can say we participated in a global fight against the Islamic State and we have been on the front lines. Now we want something back and that something back is our long-standing dream of independence. Right. Uh, Daniele Pagani, thank you very much for joining us uh, on the broadcast and sharing those uh, updates with us.